and for our purposes, it amounts to multiplying the energy of the light by 1 plus your velocity squared divided by twice the speed of light squared. Now I want to ask the question, is this the same equation as E equals some rest mass energy divided by the square root of square 1 plus, is it 1 plus or 1 minus? It's 1 minus. Using the Maclaurin series expansion, a uh, function of v, this is e of v, e of v is equal to e of 0 plus e prime of 0 times v over 1 factorial plus e double prime of 0 v squared over 2 factorial, or at least that's the way I seem to remember it. So I'm, first I'm going to make a change uh, in variables beta equals v over c, then e as a function of beta is going to be equal to e sub naught times 1 minus beta squared to the power of negative 1 half. Now the first derivative of this, e prime of beta, is going to be e sub naught times negative one half times one minus beta squared to the negative three halves times the derivative of the inner part two times beta. Now we'll do the second derivative e double prime of beta equals negative one half well it's actually negative one half times two so we'll just have negative, I'll put in our constant e sub naught times, now we'll use the product rule, um, derivative of this times this is equal to 1 minus beta to the negative 3 halves, plus the derivative of this thing times beta, so I'll go ahead and put in the beta, and then we've got to take the derivative of this thing, which I can already tell you is going to be a mess and it's also going to be unnecessary. I'm going to even go ahead and do it even though it's a mess and it's unnecessary. We'll take the negative 3 halves times 1 minus beta squared to the uh, negative 5 halves times the negative 2 beta. And by the way, since I did go through the mess of this, I realized that I had made a prior error up here when I took the derivative of negative beta squared I should have gotten times negative 2 beta here which means this negative times this negative puts a positive down here. Now why was this unnecessary? It's because of because of this. We're going to be plugging zero in there for beta and so this when we plug in zero for this this part is all going to cancel out so let's find out what these terms are e of zero e prime of zero and e double prime of zero e of zero is just going to be e sub e zero and this is one minus zero so it will be one so e of zero is e sub naught e prime of 0, we're going to put a 0 in here and a 0 in here because the 0 is multiplied by everything that's going to be 0. And e double prime of 0 is going to be e sub naught times times this, which is just going to be 1. I think I left out a squared there. So when we do the Maclaurin expansion, which I will drag down. We find that e of v equals e sub naught plus zero plus e sub naught v squared over two. Um, oh, except I've been using the variable beta, so this should be e of beta equals e sub naught times one plus beta squared over two which is the same thing as uh, e 
of beta is v over c, so if I plug a v in there and make it a function of v, it would be 1 plus v squared over 2c squared.